how are you, Jen? What's happening? Uh, you know what? We're going to make a really simple few ingredient, well, maybe not a few ingredient, a few ingredient lunch today, but super simple, easy to make at home. So I'm going to need your help for sure. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait to dive into this. This looks delicious. What's happening? So what we're doing today, we're going to make a whole wheat tortilla with lots of beautiful grilled vegetables. Uh, portobello mushroom being the star of the show. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask you to help me out with the tomatoes. We're going to do a little bit of marinated tomatoes, fresh lime juice, olive oil, some garlic, cilantro. You like cilantro? I love cilantro. I love cilantro. Cilantro salad. So we're going to do some <laughs> cilantro and then again, a little richness at the end with a low fat avocado crema, but hopefully good fat. Awesome fat. Did you know that avocado is really good for you? I hope avocados are really good for you. I hope. It's a very good, healthy fat. We're good for your hair, your nails, your eyes, all that good stuff, your skin. Um, really, really good. So I'm, I am obsessed with avocados. So I'm very excited to see this crema. I've never done that before. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm glad I'm on the right track. And then, <laughs> and then what was really important is I thought to add some crunch yep. to the tortilla and then at the end we'll build it. But I thought, what about adding some roasted pumpkin seeds? Beautiful. I love this. So a little bit of roasted pumpkin seeds, organic olive oil, and some salt. Okay. Fantastic. Ready to get started? Yeah, I'm very excited. Let's okay. Go. So I'm going to need your help with the marinated tomatoes. So what we have here today, we have just a number of uh, different color, multicolored tomatoes, some red onion. And the nice thing about cooking is it needs to be as fun and dynamic as you want it to be. So there's no set recipe here. You put as many tomatoes in the bowl as you like, a little bit of garlic, some red onion, uh, fresh lime juice, cilantro, your love, and some salt and pepper to start. Oh, you trust me with this salt, I, huh? You're scaring me you a little bit, but I you scary me, but I trust you. <laughs> I love this. So as we were speaking about this, we were talking a little bit about like, what can you eat after a workout that's super healthy and easy to do at home? So I'm really excited that we're putting this together. So what's going on next? What do you got going there? So what I'm going to do here, we talked a little bit about the grilled vegetables. Today I picked up poblano pepper. Uh, so poblano is a mild chili, so I'm not going to be adding too much heat. However, if I want to, I have some chipotle here. So I'm going to put some smoky chipotle, which is actually just a jalapeno that's been smoked and roasted, right? Oh, then I'm going to be doing some red onion. So I've just peeled them away and made some petals mm -hmm. so that we can do that and some portobello mushroom. So I've prepared the vegetables in advance. I'm going to show you how I season those up. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is grab my bowl here. And again, no secrets to what we're doing here today. I just picked some of the chilies that I thought made sense. So I have a little bit of smoked paprika oh, that I'm gonna put in the bowl. I picked a little bit of chili powder. Fantastic. And a little bit of cumin, ground cumin, which I love. A lot of people uh, understand cumin is a curry spice that you'll find if you like curry, you'll love uh, cumin, but it's also, uh, use quite a bit in southwestern cuisine. Oh, amazing. Okay. Can you so, tell me how I'm doing over here on my bruschetta? You're doing fantastic. I don't see the cilantro yet, so I'll let you know when you hit cilantro. Um, well, I'm going to make enough for the whole crew. Like, I mean, do, do we get to eat this at the end? We are definitely going to eat this fantastic. at the end. Fantastic. All right. As many onions as I want, right? Absolutely. Amazing. So what we're doing here, we're just creating that paste. Okay. And then with that paste, I'm just going to add in some of the vegetables that I've chosen. Okay. So I have some peppers going here. I'm putting them inside. I'm just going to mix them up. Oh, nice. And then I'm going to prepare my mushroom. So I'm going to show you a little trick for the mushroom. What I like to do is take the stem off the base, but then what I'll do is I will take the ribs out of the mushroom. So I'm just wow. going to peel them back like this. I never knew that. That's okay. a secret I did not know about. So I'm just going to take the ribs out and what it does, it just prevents it from being so bitter and it'll tend to darken the mushroom too when I'm cooking it. So I'm just going to take that away and I'm going to combine it with my vegetables and then I'm going to start it on the grill. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. So let's just get that out of the way. I'll show you the ones that I prepared in advance. We'll fire the grill up to warm it up. <laughs> there we go. So we're just going to take some of the grilled vegetables that we prepared now that came off our grill. Don't they look great? Oh my goodness. So they are ready to go. And I know Jen is finishing off her marinated tomatoes right now. And we'll talk a little bit about the avocado crema. I absolutely love avocado crema. It is so delicious and it's so easy. So the only thing we do is put some uh, beautiful ripe avocados with some sour cream, low fat sour cream, of course, <laughs> a little bit of garlic and fresh lime juice, a little bit of olive oil. And we picked olive oils actually from our uh, market in the front. So this is an organic olive oil from Italy. 
And then we have a little salt and pepper and of course our favorite cilantro. Okay. Beautiful. So Jen's getting that ready to go and I'll start warming up tortillas. Awesome. Tortillas are nice and warm. You've got yours. And now the fun begins. Oh, I'm so excited. So Chef, this seems like such a really easy thing that we can do at home, especially for working from home. Like or the way that I look at this, I struggle to find things that are interesting and healthy for me to eat, especially after I finished a workout. So like we've got all sorts of goodies here. So where would you suggest that I start? Uh, for my base, usually I tend to use some good lettuces. So I've got some butter lettuce there, some beautiful mizuna. Ooh. And some radish cress. Amazing. All right. I'm going to try and get a little bit of, I like a little bit of everything in life. <laughs> there you go. So um, when I'm looking at putting together a full complete meal, I always try to look to see if we can get a, find a protein um, and a, a fibrous carbohydrate. So it looks like we've got that here in the whole wheat wrap. Mm -hmm. And then some sort of a, a healthy fat. So I'm going to dive into this healthy fat right yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. If I can jump in here. And it's funny you talk about protein because... Uh, some other alternatives, edamame are a great addition for a vegetarian. Yeah, so if I'm not uh, eating meat, what else, what else could I put Some beans, this? some edamame, and then another, uh, if you are eating meat, uh, you could add a nice piece of grill. This is organic salmon. Ooh. So organic salmon, nice pe piece of free range chicken, uh, as well as some lean beef. Right? Oh, awesome. Salmon, also a healthy fat. Um, Omega-3s are in there. Great for, again, your skin, your nails, your eyes, your um, your, your overall health is great. So, but today we're going to dive into these grilled veggies. They look gorgeous. So absolutely. So the portobello. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You can use your hands or your tongs well, ready to go. Very refined. There stuff. we very, go. Very, very absolutely. Refined. Welcome to the Boulevard Club. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This looks, I'm so excited to eat this. I had a big workout earlier today, so I cannot wait. To and die. then I know you said you're a big fan of goat cheese. I'm a cheese monkey. There you go. I am definitely a cheese monkey. Guilty as charged. Oh my goodness. I'm going to dive right into this afterwards. Right? Wow. And for, you know what, when you're eating, we always think in terms of the kitchen of a little bit of crunch as well. So you want some different textures. Everything's pretty soft right now. Right. So rather than if the nuts are a concern because of allergies, pumpkin seeds are amazing. Oh, so a little bit of sea salt, some olive oil, just roast it in the pan. It'll give that nice crunch that you're missing. Oh, yeah. Wrap it up and enjoy. All right. I need my lesson here. So fold and roll or what? So I would fold the ends. Can I help Please you up do. there? Please do. Hands Thank are you. clean. So what you want to do is touch the tortilla in the center. And then you start rolling from the center out, okay? Oh, so like that, and that way you'll get a nice even wrap and ready to go. I can cut that for you if you'd like or enjoy oh, the way it is. Let's cut it open. Let's have a look and see all the sounds, beautiful colors on the inside. Sounds good. Oh my goodness. Give me I one second here. What a great idea, though, to take this back home here, Chef. Let's see what we got inside. So we'll cut through that. And you see lots of grilled vegetables, avocado crema. Beautiful. And I want you to enjoy that. Tell me what you think. Thank you so much. I can have a bite right now. What do you think? Hang on, I'm going to slide my mask Six down. feet, six feet. <laughs> mm. oh, Enough cilantro? I could have used a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for taking me through this this, uh, this afternoon, Chef. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank stay, you for having me. Stay tuned for next week. What are we doing next week? You know what? I'm thinking for next week, why don't we do avocado toast with poached egg, and we can talk about a protein option, smoked salmon, something like that Love as well. It. Awesome. Thank okay, you great. so much, Chef. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.